Now, if you guys recall, a couple weeks ago, I did a haul that was so big, I needed three videos to cover it from Target. <laughs> well, today we're doing it again, guys. I spent $1,000 at Old Navy when everything was on sale, and I got so many things. I mean, I'm not exactly sure how many outfits because I never count, but there's at least 15. And they are festive, fantastic, and fun to wear. So with that, let's just get into it because I want to try on some clothes. Listen, I'm a basic girl, so I thought let's start a little basic. Now, I saw these leggings and I freaked because I was so excited about them. They have cargo pockets. And if you've never worn these like jogger power soft pants that they have, they are so comfortable. They're where I wear on flights pretty much all the time because they have like a little bit of the appearance of a legging, but the comfort of a jogger and they're just soft and comfy. What you want to wear when you're traveling. Now with that, I grabbed something that Old Navy's been like known for forever, which is a good t-shirt. And I need some more long sleeve tees in my life. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know how I feel about this color. I thought it was going to be more on the chartreuse side. And this is definitely more of a mossy fern green. Okay, it looks a little bit like vomit. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks a little bit like vomit, but maybe, who knows? Maybe vomit is my color. We'll find out together now, won't we? <laughs> Gosh, why did I get a vomit shirt? So you're probably surprised to see this pink thermal knit, but I forgot that I had it. And I remembered it when I was putting this outfit on and I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna bring that green to life. And honestly, I love this oddball color combo. I think it is so dope. And with these pants, like this is an outfit I really like. And it is, as we like to say, comfortable and cute, which is the two things we are fighting for with every look we put together. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I don't really care what you guys think because <laughs> I think it's great. It's so me. I am still in search of some non-denim wonder pants. So I grabbed these. These are what are called a boyfriend cut and they're an adjustable waist. Oh, I get it. Cause there's like buttons on the side, I guess. So you can like make it smaller. This is actually pretty cool. As you guys know, if you're new to this channel, I'll repeat it, but my body is changing right now. So having something where I can take these in an inch on either side is actually pretty cool. So hopefully these work for me. Nice color. I mean, I think everybody needs a pair of pants like this in their wardrobe color wise. And I paired it with a super soft goldenrod sweater because I look great in this color. There's really no other reason I picked this other than pure vanity. <laughs> I know when I pop a goldenrod sweater on, I look freaking fantastic. And who doesn't want to look freaking fantastic, especially on camera, especially in front of all the people that watch this. I want you guys to think I look good. I mean, who are you listening to when I don't? Actually, if you watch this channel a lot, you know that I often look terrible on camera, so I need to make up for that. There's many a days where I look at the videos and go, Hannah, why didn't you fix your stupid makeup? Again, check out that Target haul and you'll know what I mean. I'm sure it looks great on camera, guys, but I would not buy this. I would not buy this. Uh, no, the sweater is so itchy. I can't wait to take it off. Like it is literally an, a full on itch fest. The pants fit my thighs and my hips, but are massive in the waist. And even like I had to, this has like the little size adjusters. So I put them on the smallest size on each side and I still have two fists. And these are non-stretch guys. Like this is a mess. I think maybe Old Navy doesn't cut their pants for bodies like mine. And I think that's something I'm just going to have to accept and that I'm finding out and that they may never have pants that fit me right. But I'm just pointing this all out because something that looks super cute on camera can fit super terrible on your body. So you should buy what feels good, not what looks good because they're different. And the sweet spot is when it's both things, when they both look good and feel good. This just looks good because it's my magic color. But also this is an edge vest and I want it off now. Guess what started? It's velvet season. My most favorite season of fall. No, seriously, I am velvet's biggest fan. And now I know I'm gonna stop here because someone is going to come in the comments and they are going to make this argument and I'm gonna just address it right here. Yes, this is actually velour because if it stretches, it's velour, not velvet. But I'm going to say this. The average person does not care. They don't care. 
it, velour, velvet, call it whatever you want. It's a soft fabric that looks like this and I want it all over my body. I don't know why, but the other side of velvet fabric is just as soft in a different way. So I just love the way it feels. So I got a little black tank top. This is not the exciting thing. This is the thing for modesty. Still cute, but not the thing I'm hyped about. What I'm hyped about is, blah, blah, boom. I got a velvet suit. Who would have thought Old Navy would be selling green velvet suits? But here they are. It's got shoulder pads. Whoo, she's gonna look like a Christmas boss bitch. I am so pumped for this, especially the pants, because I will wear a good velvet pair of pants all the time in the winter. Oh, it's got elastic for comfort, so you can like eat a ton in these and just live your best life. Oh, I'm pumped. I'm <laughs> It's almost Christmas. Seriously, Halloween, it's okay. But Christmas is where it's at. It's the best snacks, the best outfits. You basically can wear sequins all the time and no one can judge you. And honestly, if I owned the world, that would be every day. It pretty much is every day, but people just collaborate with me a little bit more on that world vision during the holiday season. The fit of these pants are very bizarre. The crotch is super low. The jacket's actually great and it's very comfortable. I'm wearing my normal size. This little crop situation is also great, but these pants, they ain't it. They ain't it, which sucks because it just takes the whole suit down. It just takes the whole suit down. It's like we went back in time to Thanksgiving with this next outfit because it is a flannel. And this is a really unusual plaid. That's why I picked it because I was like, this is a little funky. I like the blue. And I like the orange. These actually for a long time have been my favorite color pairing, which is royal blue and a little bit brighter of this color orange. But yeah, I love this. This is definitely my favorite colors. And then I got a brown pair of pants. I have seen brown literally everywhere. This is a sky high wide leg with secret smoothing pockets. I just thought with this bright color that this would be a fun denim to try. A little scary for me because again, Brown is new, but I think it's going to look super cute and kind of like perfect for the Thanksgiving, for the things of which we give thanks. Come here. Oh, you guys are fun when I'm filming. Come here. It's like, you know, if you get any closer, they'll see you. He never does this. Go to bed. Go lay down. You just went out and you just had treats. There's nothing that you need. So this outfit, it looks great, right? But it's got a little secret. I was 100% right about my hips. So I'm keeping it on so you can see, but if you have um, wide hips, A, I would get this in a size up and B, these pants will not work for you. But in the rare case that your body type's not like mine, this might work for you. Also like what kind of shoes do you wear with this? Uh, I hate this combo but I literally don't have anything else that even kind of works. So I wouldn't keep them just because I don't know what to wear with them. You know, your girl had to show up with a work look. This is so cute. These are pixie straight leg pants. And we know that the pixie pants, if you've never worn them from Old Navy, they are super stretchy and they are super comfortable. I love me a good pair of pixie pants, solid plaid, you know, always in fashion, always in style. And I just paired it with a pink, soft sweater. This is an outfit that is pretty much like wearing leggings and a sweatshirt, but like business style. And again, this is my aesthetic. Comfort is my aesthetic. Looking cute while being comfortable is my life goal. And you achieve it with this look. Okay. I absolutely love this. It's so cute. And these pants are so comfortable. Let me hit myself some more so you can see how enthusiastic I am. No, really, but they're really great. I just honestly think I would wear these pants a lot. And I think that's why I'm going to keep them because I just think they fit. Like, look at that. It's good. Speaking of comfortable clothing, let's go into one of my favorite loungewear looks I've seen this season. This is a cropped sweatshirt. I love a good crop. I think it just flatters my body in the most delightful way. And when I use the word flatter, I'm not saying ascribe myself to like whatever fashion ideals there are more that I like when my body looks a certain way. There are things that I love to accentuate. So when I use the word flatter, I'm talking about it leans into what I like about my body. And so 
I think it's not, I know people get really heated about that word, but I think it's all about the intent in which you use it. If you're doing it for some man or for like the internet to think you're hot, then psh. But if you're doing it to like really highlight and focus on the things you love, do it to it, girl. I don't think it's a bad word to use, but who am I? Actually, if we want to get into a deep philosophical bait, it's really the intent behind words and what we mean when we say them. And my intent is only positive and self-loving. Anyway, moving on. These are the pants I put them with. They are flannel joggers, which I think are so cute. I'm going to say something very real here. I have wanted to buy flannel joggers from Old Navy for a very long time. They have never fit me because my thighs have been too big. I haven't I've been too big for them. Like, let's just say the facts. So I'm really hoping these fit because I've never been able to wear them. And this will be the first year I actually can. They are non-stretch. So I, that is why they have never worked for me. And I'm just hoping that this can be my like holiday have fun look because my body's a little bit different this year. So we'll see if I just opened a new door of fashion to myself, which is, which is always the most exciting part about this journey. I think I need to give up the dream of these joggers. They are never going to fit me right because they are not made for my body type. And I don't like where they're hitting me. Uh, they're tight in places. They're also loose in other places. I'm just going to find something that's similar, that fits me better, that's not this because this ain't working. <laughs> She's shedding me. I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed with this. I think it's so cute. I love the color. I love how shiny it is. And then I wanted to pair it with something. So like if you needed like a little holiday look, but you wanted something affordable and also something you could like use again. <laughs> look at this jacket. Oh, it's fantastic. This jacket is freaking fantastic. I did get a size up because I tend to have issues with jackets on my hips. But I thought like these two together, like Merry freaking Christmas, right? Like, how can you deny the holidays in this? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. It's comfortable, it's cute, it's totally you. Yeah. Well, actually it's totally me. I'm very excited to wear this. I actually have a very special idea for this dress, but I need to make sure it all works out. I'm going to Disney soon. I can't say anymore. I can't say anymore. It's secrets. I can probably make some good guesses. I like the jacket. I like the dress. I do not like the jacket with the dress. I think the dress by itself, bada bing, bada boom. And when you put the jacket on it, it just makes you look a little dowdy. But this jacket with a pair of jeans and a white tee, that'd be pretty boss. So we had a green suit. We had to have a red suit too. I just love that Old Navy has suits now. Like, who would have thought you could roll up to your local Old Navy and get a suit? Not me. I don't think they've had suits before this year ever. So this is a red suit, just kind of like the green suit, honestly, just in red. And I paired it with this pink top because I love these two colors together. I think it's bold. And I love that this top has like a little shine to it. So it'll be very comfortable with it. I have just a pair of red pants. Now, I don't know if these pants are gonna work for me. They are totally and completely non-stretch. And as I've said 85 bajillion times on this channel at this point, my thighs are big, my hips are big, my butt is big. So if these pants don't accommodate for big butts, big hips, and big thighs, they are not gonna work for me. But as I've said also a million times, my body is changing. So I really don't know what is gonna fit me these days. So we'll find out together as we always do. <laughs> Well, at least my underwear add to the Christmas aesthetic. The pants are terrible. The pants are absolutely terrible. But the jacket and this top fit great. So I don't know what that means. We're not giving up on Christmas-ish yet because I am full in Christmas mode. I know that it is Halloween, guys. I don't want to hear about it. I have fully transitioned mentally to Christmas. <laughs> I'm just bypassing Halloween this year. And I know, I know I've usually in the past been big on Halloween, but this year I don't wanna. I don't wanna. You guys will find out why in a little bit why I don't wanna, but I really, I just don't wanna. So this is a t-shirt that I thought was subtly Christmas, which we all need something in our wardrobe that says Christmas without saying Christmas. It's got little gingerbread man and it's cute because his arm has been eaten in some of them, like someone who got a little hungry and the little holly leaves. And this is just, 
It's just adorable. And in various places, the gingerbread men have had bites taken out of them, which I think is, it's so cute. And with it, some very comfortable wide leg sweatpants in a delicious royal blue, another color that is fabulous on me. And with that, because we're not done yet, the piece de resistance. And that is the best French you're ever going to get from me, this vest. Now, why did I get this vest? I am looking for the vest. I hike a lot and it is, I have gone seasonally challenged here in Austin. So I actually need to get a couple vests because I don't like like a lot of like heat on my arms. I don't know if anybody else experiences this, but when my arms are like wrapped in a coat, sometimes I get really hot when I'm hiking, but this allows me to have like aeration, but also warmth around my core. So I saw this color and it's reflective, which is great because I take walks with data a lot at night, um, especially when we're hiking on like a roadway or a paved trail. So this is perfect for that. And it is so nice. It is just dope. It just looks cool. I don't know if it like is as clear on camera as it is in real life, but this is dope. This, this might be my favorite thing in this whole dang haul. Now the velvet suit probably. They're tied. Different reasons. Different reasons for use, but they're both, they're up there. Sometimes these hauls feel like punishment, and I'd like to know what I did wrong in the world to deserve what, what I've been through today so far. Oh. Um, the pants are comfortable. The t-shirt's comfortable. This is, we're just going to for everyone. Like, this is okay. But it's nothing special. I said this was the pest de resistance. It's really the pest of shit. <laughs> Sometimes when things have been a little rough, you just need a little snack. Barbie like never buy pants from Old Navy ever again. Or puffer vests. Of all the sweaters I've shown you, this is the sweater I saw on site and went, because <gasps> it is the cutest. I don't even think this looks expensive. This looks like one of those fancy $400 sweater companies. I don't know why people are spending $400 on a sweater. Like, did they not see that the price of groceries are like four times the cost right now? But either way, I saw this and it looked so fancy and so expensive. The colors are just absolutely fantastic. It's very Christmas, but it's giving Christmas in such a unique color combo that I, I couldn't resist. I think this is absolutely adorable. And I've really been feeling this wash of jean, which is this like washed out gray. And I have been trying to find myself a pair that actually fit just right. So we tried one from Old Navy too. I don't have high hopes because again, I'm not seeing a hip line in any of these jeans. Like, look, they are straight up and down. This says to me, be curvy girl, beware. Because we do not accommodate your butt. But again, we are going to try it. We are going to see. And maybe we'll get lucky. I don't have high hopes. It's the curse of the denim. Also, if you are a pair size girl and you like have a pair of jeans that you think is bussin', please leave it down in the comments and I will try it out. In fact, I will do a whole haul trying your jean selections if y'all drop them down there because I don't like trying on 85 pairs of jeans that don't fit. It's not fun. It's not cool. So yeah, let me know. Okay, this is super cute. This is super cute. The jeans... They are way big in the waist. They fit my hips and thighs, but they're not, they are not going to stay up. But right now, they look pretty good. It's just if I did an excessive amount of walking or shimmying, I would have booty crack exposed, which is not the aesthetic I'm looking for. Just say no to crack. <laughs> now, before I get into this look, I want to remind you of something pretty serious. You gotta like, you gotta like, comment, and subscribe. I hated myself a little inside for doing that, but John's constantly reminding me that I need to tell people to do that. So if you like this, if you enjoyed this, or if you are hate watching consistently, please like, comment, and subscribe, because then I will continue to make content for you to enjoy or loathe. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, just as long as you engage. One more fantastic work outfit. These are some wide leg pants and they are so wide, which means they're probably going to work for me. <laughs> I always find it weird when they put one pocket in the back. I guess that's a business suiting thing, 
but I would like two pockets. I like balance. I like symmetry. It's just who I am. I'm not an asymmetry type of girl. Now with these gray pants, I have grabbed this plum top. And you know what this reminds me of? And I'm going to shout it out to you guys. I'm not a dupes person. I'm not normally like dupe, but I saw a shirt just like this on Draper James. Yeah. And it was like a hundred dollars. And this is, oh, it doesn't say how much, but definitely not that much. So again, this looks like something in the market that is expensive, but it's not. And it's giving sugar plum fairy vibes, which hello, I'm Christmased up. I'm all for it. I find it ironic that I almost didn't put these pants on because we've had failure after failure after failure with pants in this haul. But all the way at the end, I find a pair that actually looks pretty dang good. So when you're going through it, just keep going. Be sure to try everything on because you never know. I almost didn't even try this on. And I'm glad I did because these pants look freaking boss. Silver lining. <laughs> Silver lining. If you've been to this channel enough, you'll have noticed one thing I usually do. Not all the times because sometimes I am not that organized. But today, today I am. And that's finishing with an outfit that I can just wear for the rest of the day because it's comfortable and I can be done when trying things on and just like stay in whatever I was wearing. And that is what we're doing today. Um, this is a hot pink sweatsuit. It's a hot pink sweatsuit, guys. Uh, do I need this? No. Am, am I going to keep it forever and ever? Yes, because your girl deserves a hot pink sweatsuit. And I believe that this is like the comments where people are like, it's too long. And whenever I read a comment that's like, it's too long, I get kind of happy inside because as a tall girl, it's never long enough. So to have a pair of pants that actually might be the right length and paired with this cute little hooded sweatshirt, not little, I'm a, I'm a thick girl, but how cute is this? How cute is it? Ah, I just love the color and love the hoodie. I love the pants. And as luck may be, today is freezing cold in Austin. It was like 40 some degrees this morning, which is insane because literally a week and a half ago, it was like 100 degrees outside. So what? Either way, this is what I'm ending the haul with. And this is what I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the day. So hopefully I like it because that would really be sad when I made all of this plan and organization to end up in it to decide that it was not worthy of being worn. But I don't think it's going to be the case. It feels really soft on the inside. Hey. Okay, so I like this. Um, I wish that this was a little bit stretchier. It's like a solid, like non-stretch seam at the bottom. And with my hips being a little bigger, as I say, like a bajillion times, broken record, I know. It just would be more comfortable if this could, I don't know, have a little bit more movement to it. If it's fine, but I'd like to be able to pull it down and not have it feel tightish. The pants I love, they're very comfortable and I do like the length on them, though I do feel like they might shrink up. So I actually probably am not gonna stay in this because I don't think I'm gonna keep it. Um, honestly, I used to love shopping at Old Navy and it's weird to be a smaller size and have everything not work. <laughs> it was, I, honestly, I'm not keeping many things from this haul. I was not happy. I do not feel great. I'm gonna put on something that I f do feel comfortable in. Um, to celebrate the fact that this is over now. Uh, overall, yeah, it was kind of a not fun haul for me, but I learned a lot about how my body has changed and that's a good thing. That's what we're gonna take from this. So with that guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and you know what I'm gonna say, but more than anything, I'm just gonna say, instead of just saying peace, I say peace towards yourself. Clothes should not affect how you feel about yourself. They are inanimate objects designed by somebody who does not know your body, who's trying to design for so many different body types. So if something doesn't work, it's just your body that it may not work for. It's not a personal attack and it's not a reason you should attack yourself. So love yourself regardless of whether the clothes work for you. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm about to go get some self care on and I'm going to move past this and we're going to find brands that do work for me. Guess what? It's not old Navy anymore. Okay. So now for real peace.